So where is North Korea headed with its nuclear program, and what should the U.S. do about it? For an expert's view, I spoke with Joel Witt, senior fellow at the U.S. Korea Institute at SAIS, who currently runs the 38 North website and served as an official at the State Department for 15 years. Take a look. So in his New Year's speech, Kim Jong-un expressed his desire to mend ties with South Korea. He even suggested an inter-Korean summit. But at the same time, he made clear he has no plans to end Pyongyang's nuclear program and demanded an end to joint South Korea-U.S. military exercises. So how do you assess his speech? Well, I think it, it would be right to be very cautious in our assessment of what he said. Um, he did offer that olive branch, but... There are a lot of uh, conditions that are attached. And the bigger issue here is that there's not going to be any resolution to the nuclear problem without an active American involvement in, the, in solving this whole problem. And right now, the U.S. administration really isn't involved at all. In less than two months, South Korea and the U.S. will be conducting their joint military drills. If the Koreas don't make any progress by then, do you expect to see North Korea launch another provocation? Uh, once again, you're asking me to make a prediction. And so what I would say is that at the moment, there is no sign, at least, of preparations for a long-range missile test mm -hmm. or even a nuclear test. Whether they would launch other types of provocations I really don't know, but I would point out that experts repeatedly predict provocations mm -hmm. and are wrong most of the time. So given North Korea's steady progress in building up its nuclear capabilities, what steps should the United States and its allies take this year to cope with Pyongyang's nuclear threats? Well, I think it's very clear, at least to me, that uh, American policy is in disarray and our coordination with South Korea in order to have the maximum effect on the North is not very good. So the first step here is that in Washington, we need to conduct a full-scale review of American policy towards North Korea. The chances of success may be not so great, but nevertheless, the way we're approaching this problem now is, has clearly failed. I'm talking about a full-scale review that looks at not only the diplomatic track and what might and might not be possible there, but also a, a more reasonable, measured, and effective approach on sanctions, and also looking at the trends over the next five years in North Korea's WMD programs and making sh sure that we take the security steps necessary to protect ourselves. Do you foresee a shift in Washington's policy towards Pyongyang in the coming months? Uh, I'm very skeptical. I, I think the administration has other approach, other issues that it's uh, focused on. And also, I think the administration has basically given up on trying to deal with North Korea, aside from occasionally slapping sanctions on Pyongyang. So uh, I'm very skeptical about that. Nevertheless, uh, one way of perhaps encouraging Washington to shift would be for South Korea to take a greater role in pushing the Obama administration to become more active. I know a number of us were hoping for that when President Park was elected, but that hasn't happened so far. And without an active American involvement in dealing with North Korea, I'm very skeptical South Korea can get very far, particularly on the issues that at least we care about, which is the security threat posed by North Korea. Thank you, Mr. Wu, for your time today. Thank you very much.